Hi guys, it's your girl Rubby, and I am here doing what I do best, and that is being heavily caffeinated. I usually do this with, you know, some cafe con pan, which is just sweet bread, but right now we're just making some snickerdoodles for the holidays. At the moment, I'm just frothing the coffee itself with La Lechera, which is just a brand of condensed sweetened milk. I normally just put like maybe, depending on how I'm feeling, some little razzle dazzle, maybe two spoonfuls, maybe one. Usually it's two. If I'm having a really stressful day, I'll do three. I'm right now using a Keurig just so, just in case you don't have uh, an espresso machine at home or something. I don't, I do it manually, so it's a lot of work. But you can use a Keurig, so I usually just get the K-cups. And in here for the snickerdoodle for the milk, I have cinnamon sugar, ground cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. And the butter helps it give it that cookie taste. And then I heated the milk up to about 65 degrees. I usually put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds, but I also have an electric frother. So as of right now, I'm just frothing this milk. I use heavy whipping cream. It's just a preference. You could use regular creamer or just some whole milk. I personally just like the thickness of it. But if you look at the coffee itself, it's already been frothed. So this is just as the top layer of frothing for it. The obsession with coffee started pretty much at a young age. Growing up, coffee is a thing. Like uh, my dad would wake up really early. He used to work, well, he still does, work at a factory in New York. And he would uh, wake up around 5, 5.30. My mom was up around 4.30. So that explains why I'm up so early at times. But um, I used to be a really big early bird. But part of that was in order to spend time with him, I would sit there and drink coffee with him. Mind you, I was a child, had no <laughs> business drinking coffee. That's probably why I stopped growing. Yeah, it's a thing. You drink a lot of coffee, you live your best life. I have like a minimum of three cups a day. It brings me a lot of joy. As you might have not noticed, but I'll point it out to you guys just in case, I do have a minor obsession with Frida Kahlo. And uh, I don't know where it started, don't ask. It's just something that's been part of my life. And I enjoy it greatly. Uh, part of it is what she brings to the table. So yeah, there's just a slight, it's like an obsession that people, that my family and loved ones have uh, have definitely accepted. So each of these mugs ha were gifts. And so were these books. So this bag is actually something my mother-in-law gave me. I have a puzzle of 500 pieces that my sister gave me too. This is a gift from my sister-in-law. This dress was also a gift and I have socks on. I have a commissioned artwork at the house for Frida Kahlo as well. I love it. I, I think she brings a lot of empowerment. There's other obsessions I have as well. I have an obsession with the Harry Potter series. A lot of books actually. Mm. This is pretty good snickerdoodle coffee. And uh, aside from boring you guys to death about coffee and uh, books and Frida, I'm also a realtor who can sell you a home and help you buy a home. And I'm all about great energy. So if you feel like we'll match, I'm here to help you reach your greatness. Happy holidays. Be great, guys. Dang guys, I ran out of milk. <laughs> so weird, just talking all by yourself. You know guys, I don't think it's an obsession. I don't think it hurts anybody. Ah, I made an apple. The coffee is cold. I ran out of butter. Tell me more, tell me more. I talk to myself all the time. See, we have content now. Isn't it great about extra? Is it going now? Yep, it has not stopped. Oh, that is hilarious, okay.